Come on, the red team! Hey, red! Swiss, come on! Come on! Come on, shoot! Come on! What is up internet people? We are back again with an Achillea football vlog. Today is an away day, but only across to the other side of London. We have Fulham at Craven Cottage, 4pm kickoff. Now for those of you that don't know, you can see all of my banners and stuff are in white instead of blue, which means it is a charity month. So for every goal that Spurs score in a game like today, I'll be donating £5 to your chosen charity. Now from the last vlog, we lost 1-0, so we didn't score a goal, but I kind of felt bad, so I said I'll donate five pounds anyway and the top comment from last week's vlog is right here alexander with the cancer research comment so i've head over to cancer research uk and donated five pounds evidence right there but again it's another week where it's just a five pound donation today is a perfect chance for spurs to go and score two three or four goals against fulham who are struggling at the bottom of the table and that way we'll be donating a lot more money to charity at the end of the video don't forget to leave a comment down below of your favorite charity and the one that has the most likes and is the top comment is the one i'll choose for next week's vlog now the issue we have today is that we have our first kind of proper squad test because it's the first game where Kane is out injured, we've still got people like Wanyama and Dyer out injured and Sissoko's out injured as well and Sun is off in South Korea which by the way he's won his first game in the group they're through to the was it quarterfinals I think it is against Bahrain so good luck to him there. My phone has been connected. But first we need to pick up some family. to inform you guys that I will unfortunately be missing the Chelsea League Cup second leg next week as well as the Crystal Palace FA Cup game. I am out of the country on a job but that is something you will see in the next vlog for Chelsea if that makes any sense. But as you can see we are currently in Victoria Station which quickly stopped out just so we can grab some food then we'll be heading back on the district line to head over to Putney Bridge which is where we get off for Fulham. So quick munch let's go. Decent team given our injuries, obviously Kane out, Sun's on international duty, Dyer's back on the bench but still not good enough to start, and we've got Wanyama, just basically a lot of issues but we've reverted back to the five of the back formation which is actually pretty good, it's what I wanted us to do, we've got a strong, strong defence but to be honest I think we might struggle to score some goals today so I think I'm going to go for a 2-1 Spurs win, they're fighting at the bottom of the table so it'll be a close one, let's go. Well we've just kicked off! Let's go, come on, we need to go out with an intent and show that we can do this without Kane and Son. It'll be tough, but we can do it. Come on, you Spurs! We're on Tottenham! Super Tottenham! From the lane, we're on Tottenham! Super Tottenham! We're on Tottenham! From the lane! Oh, Moussa Dembele! Oh, 
tribute to Moose here, playing for both clubs. Oh, good delivery. What was that? What was that? Ericsson just hit a low cross straight at the wall. One of the most pathetic free kicks I've ever seen, I can't lie. What a save, Hugo! Sanchez allowed Barbel to go one on one. Can't believe it allowed that to happen, but I feel like Barbel should have slotted the home a lot easier. But Hugo pulled off a great save to Palmer home for a full and free kick. Unbelievable. That really felt like it should have been 1 0 down then. Very lucky, very lucky. What has just happened? In a corner, somehow the ball just hits players and falls in the goal somehow. Yeah, I don't know how no one was able to clear that or what, but that was absolutely shocking. Ah, oh, should not be going 1-0 oh, no down in these games. The full goal has gone down as an own goal. Own goal apparently gone down. Unbelievable. So, must have hit Reem and come off one of our players and gone in, but... Shocking. Absolutely shocking defending. This Ryan Barber has actually been quite solid for Fulham today. Oh, no. What a save! Just as I was saying that, Ryan Barbell played a beautiful ball in. Schurler had a great strike first time. Hugo Lloris pulled off an unbelievable save. Mitrovic heads it in, but luckily he was in an offside position. But gone away with it again. Again. We're just not waking up. We've got no options forward. If this doesn't scream out that we need to sign Zaha, sign Anatovic, sign Malcolm. We need, just need to get in the window and get someone. It's an embarrassment. We look like a mid to low table side right now. Fulham are like, what, second from bottom? Like, absolutely dominating us. I haven't seen the like this in a while. We are looking bad. At least with the Man United game, we like, were great the whole game, but lost that. This has been ridiculous. Half time, 1 0 down, and we deserve to be. We've been absolutely shocking. And honestly, Fulham should have scored two more goals. Should have scored three, easily. Oh, no. Something needs to change this half, second half. And we're just not looking great going forward because we literally have no one to go forward. So we have to go out and buy some of the window. It just has to be done. Second half on the way. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. Toy Spurs. Come on, Daly. Yes! Get it! Come on! Great ball in by Ericsson. Daly heads it home. It's what we needed early this half. Come on! Right, that should hopefully bring up the spirits a bit in the team and we'll start bloody attacking this game. Come on! 1 0, oh, let's go. Happy to see Dyer back, but he's just come on for Lamella when we need to score. It's an absolute joke, man. We have Nkudu, Kazar Sterling, we have players on the bench that can go forward. We don't need a holding midfielder, we need goals. Oh, the red just wide! The red team, man, you're on the pitch for this reason! Oh, you're kidding me! Deli Ali looks very, very badly hurt. He's off on the side and like he's got his hands right over the side. He looks very, very upset. 
And so it looks like George Kevin Kudu is going to come on. Is Nkudu? Yeah, I think it's Nkudu coming on. Oh, hopefully that's not another massive injury that we suffered. George Kevin Nkudu is on for Delhi Alley. He's going to be injured. It's been a long time since you've seen him. And you know how much I like George Kevin Nkudu. But he needs to prove himself right now with five minutes to go. Let's go. Come on. Go on. somehow managed to scrape a 2-1 win which to be honest probably isn't deserved they should have gone 2-3 up, up in the first half but the fight for the last 10 minutes was exactly what we needed and one of my favourite players that Spurs never played is Nkudu came on got the assist for a man like Harry Winks in the goal 2-1 my voice is going as you can probably tell but very very much needed win today very much needed win and my prediction's right 2-1 get in so move on to the next hope you enjoyed watching this and i'll see you in the next one okay so very quickly before you guys go today we won 2-1 which means two goals equals 10 pounds to your charity of choice so i can't stress enough comment down below your favorite charity and the one with the most votes by the time it comes to the Chelsea vlog, will be the one I choose to donate £10 to. So get commenting, get liking the video, make sure to share with everyone because the scenes at the end were amazing. And yeah, just subscribe if you want to see these videos in the future. Come on, you Spurs!